In this video, I thought we would do a uh, quick voltage and current check of this hand crank generator that I bought a while ago and I uh, haven't really got around to using yet and maybe I will soon. So, in any case, this is rated according to the seller on Amazon to output 15 volts and up to 300 milliamps of current. So what we're going to do is we have the multimeter here and we're going to use these double sided alligator clip wires just clip that there and then there's an alligator clip over here so let's uh, clip this one up there right there and now we come to the hand crank generator I'm gonna hold it like this because that's the easiest way for me to crank it and it is gonna be loud unfortunately these things are loud I'm really looking for a uh, hand crank generator that can provide a lot of power without being so loud and uh, so if you know of one or something uh, definitely suggest that in the uh, comment section so in any case we have uh, one clip there and I think if I get it about halfway through the uh, teeth and then keep it close to the generator it will hold pretty well and I've had pretty good luck with that so far there we go and uh, keeping it close seems to work pretty well so in any case let's set the meter to measure voltage and so it's rated for according to the seller on Amazon about 15 volts and about 300 milliamps of current and so this is going to be loud there's a lot of grinding as I said I'll get a firm grip on there And there you can see 15 volts wasn't too hard uh, to get to. It looks like it's about the maximum though that we will get. So now we will measure current. And that was really easy to turn it while we were getting voltage without uh, any load. We didn't have to provide current to any load. And uh, so it was very easy to turn. While we're putting current through the meter, it's going to be harder to turn. And an actual load with resistance, I think it'll be even harder to turn. But uh, with just the current going through the meter as a short circuit because it's measuring current, let's see how much current we can get. So it looks like I probably could have held about 600 milliamps of current. And I wasn't given my all. But... Uh, it is quite a bit harder to turn and you'll get tired pretty quick uh, with that intensity but uh, in any case still it's a nice little uh, portable hand crank generator let's get the meter off of uh, measuring current and it's very easy to have the meter set to measure current you see that it's on so you try to measure the voltage of something uh, a power supply which if the power supply does not limit current will put too much current through the meter but uh, so I try to remember to always get off of milliamps as quick as I can but in any case this is a kind of a nice hand crank generator and I hope to find a better one this was a little less than nine dollars and fifty cents and uh, so I'll be on the lookout a little more and hopefully come up with some other projects with it and I'd really like to get something solid to uh, hold it and uh, that would make it easier to crank than and gripping it uh, like this but uh, in any case thought I would show that off and uh, I think it's good to have a backup hand crank generator for uh, emergencies or whatever so thanks for watching I will see you in the next video